I want to introduce you to what is probably my new favorite soldering iron tip. This thing is going to change your life. Well, maybe not. But it's going to help you out if you're cutting some of that nylon mesh. So if you're looking to pretty up your quads, a lot of people are using this stuff. This is a flame retardant bladed, braided sleeve. It's made out of a, a nylon-ish material. And the issue with it is when you cut it, the ends will fray off. And I'll show you that in a moment. What I, The scope of this video is I just want to show you the probably the best tool to cut this stuff. It, it just works so well. They have these for different irons, so don't think you need to get this one specifically. I am using the FX951, and this is the FM2027 uh, soldering pencil. And for it, I have picked up this. This is what's known as a hot blade. And specifically, this one is the T15KU. So I'm going to go ahead and put that into the pencil and with this one it's kind of directional so you want to figure out where you're going to hold the pencil so all we do is we throw that in our iron like so and then magic i usually just grab a spare piece of plywood and heat up the soldering iron and we're just gonna put it like that. So let's say we wanna cut a three inch piece off of this. We let our iron heat up. And it's as simple as this. Simple as that. Just it just cuts right through. And these ends, while they do get a little gummed up and melted together, you just clean it up a little bit. And as you can see, they're not gonna fray. Very, very nice. Now if we take this, let's say we just take our normal cutters and cut the end of that. As you can see, we've already got problems. Some of these wires are pulling out, okay? And then if we fray it out, we go put our wires, I mean, look at that. That's already unbraided an inch down. And the only thing at this moment that's holding it together is the cut that I made with this knife blade. So, I mean, if this doesn't let you know how useful this blade is, I don't know what will. Um, so just just know that you not only have to get your motors through your motor wires through this, but then you've got to clump it all back up and put a piece of shrink tube on it. I mean, the hot knife, it just, Wow, so much better. So I highly, highly suggest this. If you are going to pretty up your quads with this stuff because that is a mess. Uh, as you can see, it clearly, clearly cuts this stuff clean. It, it melts the edges and you don't end up with that mess when you're done. Uh, you can safely and easily put your motor wires through this stuff and then not have to worry about fighting with this, any of this stuff to get your shrink tube on afterwards. So I highly recommend this thing. This, this was a great little buy. And I know I had mentioned it before, but you can get a knife tip for just about any soldering iron. Uh, it doesn't have to be this specific one, but if you are using the FX951, I highly recommend this one specifically. 
it, it seems to be the the proper I mean this is like a three millimeter tip maybe a two and a half millimeter tip and it's just, it's perfect length for what we're gonna be doing with it so I highly suggest this one if you have even just a normal $20 rate uh, soldering iron they do make those as well so rest assured uh, the only issue that you're going to run into is changing back and forth from a hot iron, unscrewing those tips. Just be careful. But there's that. I just wanted to get this information out to you guys and share it with you. I know I've included this tip in my Beast Class videos, but I'm sure most of you are not going to watch those or haven't seen them yet. Uh, this is just helpful to everybody. So there's that. If you enjoyed this video, click that thumbs up button. And if you are going to pretty up your quads or have dealt with the nuisance that some of these things can be, let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't done it already, go ahead and punch that subscribe button because you only get to do it once and it's fun. And I'll catch you later. Peace.